Hello, my lovely students. Today we will start a new chapter. Chapter 40, Subtraction of Four-Digit Numbers. Open your books, page 88, and follow with me. The distance from Samia's school to her house is 2,120 meters. This is Samia, and this is her school. Samia um, goes to her school every day. This distance is 2,120 meters. Now, Samia walked 1,735 meters. Samia walked up to this point. This distance she walked is 1,735 meters. Now the question is, how many meters does she still have to walk? They are asking about the distance she still have to walk to reach to her school. So, this is the blue line is the distance we have to calculate. As we know that the word still, it means minus. Now, to calculate this distance, I have to subtract the small number from the big number. In subtraction equation, I will start with the big number first. Start, don't forget to put big number first. So I write 2120 minus 1735. I write the places of the numbers, ones, tens, hundred, then thousand, in this order. Now, write the first number and put each number in its place. 2,120 minus 1,735. I set up the numbers. I put ones under ones and tens under tens, hundred under hundred and thousands under thousands. Now, how I can calculate? I wrote these equations. Now, I start with the ones. Look, I have zero minus five. Put zero in your hand. Look at your hand. Can I take 5 from it? No, I don't have anything in the ones. I cannot take 5 from it. So, what should I do? I go to the next digits. What is the next digit? It's tens. What do I have in the tens place? I have two tens. So, I will take one ten to the ones. As we know that... 110 equal 10 ones. So this 10 is going to the ones place and turn into 10 ones. Now I have 1 and the tens, I take 1 from the tens, it's going to be 1. Now what do I have in the ones? I have 10. 10 minus 5 equal 5. It's easy. Now, what do I have in the tens? I have 1. Put 1 in your finger. Don't forget. In each time, put the number in your finger. So, you can see if I can take it from it or not. If it is enough or not. So, I put 1 in my finger. Can I take 3 from it? No, I can't. What should I do? I go to the next digit. The next digit is the hundreds digit. What do I have in the hundreds? I have 100. Now, as I know, so 100 will go to the tens place. Will move to the tens place. As I know that's 100 equal 10 tens. So, ten, this hundreds, this 10 tens will go into the tens place. 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is the ten ten. This is the hundred. It's turned into ten tens and it's disappear. Now count how many tens do I have? I have ten and one eleven tens. So I write one next to the one ten. So I have eleven tens and the hundred. Do I have any hundreds? No. I take one from the hundreds place and now I have zero hundreds. Now I have eleven tens. Eleven minus three equal eight. Now what do I have in the hundreds place? I have zero hundred. Put zero in your hand. Can I take seven from it? No, I can't. So what should I do? Go to the next digit, the thousand digits. What do I have in the thousand place? I have two thousand. Look at these two thousands. I will take one thousand to the hundreds place. And as I know, one thousand equal ten hundreds. This thousand is ten flats. So one thousand will go to the hundreds place and turn into ten flats. These ten flats and one thousand disappear. Now, I write one into next to the zero in the hundreds and the two thousand is going to be one thousand. Now, what do I have in the hundreds place? I have ten flat. It's ten hundreds. Ten minus seven. It's a three. Now the thousand. I still have one thousand minus one equals zero. So the number is three hundred eighty-five. I don't have thousand. It's zero. So the number is three hundred eighty-five. Let's back to our book. Now, this is the equation. 0 minus 5, I can't. I will take 1 and put it next to. Don't forget, put the 1 next to the digit. And the 2 turns into 1. Now, 10 minus 5 equal 5. Now, I have 1 in the tens. 1 minus 3, I can't. I will take 1 from the hundreds and put it next to the digits. I have 11 in the tens. 11 minus 3 equal 8. And the hundreds, it's going to be 0. Now, 0 minus 7, I can't. I will take 1 from the thousands, and this thousand is going to be 1. Now, I have 10 in the hundreds. 10 minus 7 equal 3, and 1 minus 1 equal 0. Now, the answer is 385 watt meters. I write 385 meters. Now, to write the sentence, as I teach you before, I cross how many meters up to does or do or did, and I write, she still has 385 meters to walk. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.